Hola, hola, tudo bom? Here I am making another video, and this is Coleano, a wild sorcerer magician created and commissioned by Jacob. As you can see, this is quite a colorful design and was based on this art right here, which is another commission that Jacob got made by another artist at all. I do not know the person who made this and I'm yet to get back in touch with Jacob to, I don't know, link the artist on the description or something. Uh, I don't know, but that was just a quick disclaimer on that, since there are things here that I wouldn't normally think about doing, like this pretty nice layered half skirt thing. I love it. With that out of the way, let's get into the making of this art. As usual, I start by sketching the figure, keeping in mind the main design features that I want to make sure to highlight in the final piece. That's something I took some time to realize back when I started, by the way. I used to struggle a lot with posing characters. Don't get me wrong, like I still do every now and then. But now I struggle to get where I want with certain poses. And before I used to struggle with knowing what I wanted in the first place, Tadigat. I remember the days of sketching little figures after little figures, not understanding why they all seem to be so so weird and wrong. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. Now that I think about it, I've been doing characters artwork for a while now. Things got much easier in that sense. However, an artist is not free from his struggles. Oh no no no. I'd say nowadays my fight is against design and a persistent death wish that doesn't seem to leave me. One of these issues can be solved by studying a lot and I moan it. It's interesting to think that learning anything makes us realize how much we still have to learn. I sometimes wonder if there's an end to this. Other than one of the solutions to the other issue I mentioned, that is. So, with the client's feedback on the sketch, it's time to move to the main adjustments and the base colors. Keeping most saturated colors close to their chest and face, I'll start by adding purples and pinks followed by a support color. You know, my internet went down for these past days. I mean, my house internet. I still had my phone and a somewhat decent mobile data thing. Needless to say, it was odd. 
At first, I was worried, thinking about work and all the things I had to do and chance. However, I was able to send the work I needed using my phone, and I was just left with that void. Mainly because I was unable to watch mostly unnecessary YouTube videos on handle pauses throughout the workday. And by workday, I mean basically all day, because I've been doing just that ever since the apocalypse started. Which reminds me that I've been vaccinated recently. That was a nice day, a very different too. I saw the world outside for a while. <laughs> Jokes aside, I haven't been doing much, and hopefully I'll at least be able to see the people I love once again uh, sometime soon. I hope you can do it too. Take some time to be around people you love and care about, drinking some water and being relaxed and hydrated, now that's a nice day too. Oh my, I wish you plenty of nice days. Time to paint over everything. My favorite part of the video is coming soon. Also, what do you think of this video editing? I'm trying a new software, and learning new software is always a pain, but I've been trying to enjoy it. I mean, I am enjoying it, and I've been exploring a lot and trying new features, making some animations and little cuisines and whatnot. Like it was with making character artworks, I hope video editing gets easier the more I do it. It's not like I'm making huge Hollywood movies anyways, but like, I hope to make 14 hours of a digital painting being done somewhat entertaining, you know? how much a face can change when it comes to the vibe of the artwork. Hey, I don't have much else to tell you right now. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. My favorite part is coming up soon. It's around 13 minutes. Hopefully this video is going up on Monday, so I can tell you to have a good week. Let's do it, one day at a time. Do not forget to drink some water, alright? Tell me what you think of my favorite part too, and have a good one. Ciao, ciao!
hey, I'm back, real quick, I just wanted to mention that this part right here, the legs, you know, I had a bunch of trouble doing that. This was another attempt at it, because it would be like a sock thing, or a very tight pants, with holographic effects on it, and some textures to show the skin underneath. Well, the idea was pretty cool, however, I couldn't do it properly, and I was struggling a lot with it. So I stopped. And try it again, with another solution in mind. Alright, that's my quick note here. And once again, ciao ciao! Yay! Yeah. Follow! Opa! <laughs>